What's up allies welcome to another video in today's video we're going to be comparing looseless scaling versus AMD frame generation we're going to be looking at three AAA games here first one being God of War let's get started with this so to the left you'll see is the looseless scaling to the right is the AMD frame generation and you'll notice here that with looseless scaling you do get a high FPS count in this game and I would say that is probably the theme throughout this video. You do get a high FPS count with looseless scaling but you'll notice that when you actually look at the games in person and up close that AMD frame generation kind of looks better. So here we have looseless scaling with God of War and as you can see it does look pretty good running under our GLI and look at the FPS count here you see it get high 90s sometimes hit 100 like you see right here and you'll notice when I do switch it to the AMD frame gen that it hardly gets uh, to 100 but, but it does get high though. Here we have the same game running with the AMD frame gen and you'll notice that the FPS count does not get as high as looseless scaling but you'll see though graphically and clarity it does look better up close in person but you guys let me know in the comments below if you guys can see that difference I know when I was playing it on the ally you definitely can notice. Alright so moving over to Cyberpunk 2077 as you can see to the left we have lossless scaling and to the right we have the AMD frame generation. And something you notice, like I stated, with God of War, you do get a high FPS when you do use lossless scaling. So again, just want to showcase the comparison here so you guys can see it. So when we blow up the full screen here with AMD frame gen, you do notice that, again, you do get a lower FPS count. But it is more clear. And with this, and you hardly get any ghosting, but you do take an FPS hit here. Here we have lossless scaling. And you'll notice here that, again, the FPS is a little bit higher. And something to take into consideration. I am in a gunfight in Night City compared to the AMFF where I wasn't and I'm still able to get high FPS count with this one and it does look quite decent as well. So moving on to the last game that we're going to be testing here and that's Hogwarts Legacy and to left I have lossless scaling and to the right I have AMD frame generation and something that you notice here is the AMD frame generation does a better job it's giving you a high FPS count with this one and also is definitely more smooth. This game really struggled on lossless scaling here. I don't know why, but you'll see here this is AMD frame gen and you again, you're getting high FPS here and the picture quality is really clean. You're not seeing any ghost in. And here we have lossless scaling blown up and you'll notice that the FPS count is not as much. And again, it's some ghost in here like you'll see and the picture quality is not as clear but yeah just want to highlight these three games that we tested here let us know in the comments below what has the experience been with lossless scaling and amd frame generation stay tuned we do have more videos and works with these if that's something you guys were interested in appreciate you guys we'll catch you guys in the next one until next time peace out